What up squad, it's Stealth, and we're back with another Minecraft video. I seriously hope you guys are doing great today, and before we get into today's video, I have a really brief update on the current status for the snapshot on the Bedrock engine. I know a lot of you guys are eagerly awaiting these features, the aquatic features, and you really can't wait, but uh, here's what Aubrey Norris has to say on the current status of that. In case you are wondering, there will be betas coming up for Bedrock engine based platforms, Android, Xbox, Windows 10, with the aquatic stuff in them, but we are all super busy getting Switch off the ground right now. Please stand by. So I feel like the Switch people have been waiting the longest, so it's good to see that they are still trying to get that off and going, and hopefully sooner than later. I know a lot of people have been waiting for the Switch edition, so they just need to hurry up and get that out, but uh, they're well aware that a lot of people are still waiting for these aquatic features on Bedrock. So that's just a really brief update on the current status for the snapshot. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video because we have some really cool details on Tridents as well as some other features that haven't been announced as well as a brand new mob that Jebs teases. We're going to be going over all the details momentarily, but if you guys are just really hyped for this aquatic update, if you just are absolutely loving all the features, in this update so far be sure to absolutely crush the like button ninja kick it in the face guys absolutely destroy it today and don't forget to hashtag ninja sub because i will be replying to every single subscriber in today's video it's about to be so lit so without further ado let's go ahead and jump straight into this video so minecraft tweeted this out not too long ago they said today on minecraft.net the java team talk about update aquatic jeb Argo Major and Lady Agnes tell us about loads of fun new features coming to Minecraft. So this is a really, really big article. I'm not going to bore you guys to death. Honestly, this stuff doesn't bore me to death. I absolutely love reading this stuff. But they talk about a lot of the cool features, you know, you'll expect to see, like Mob B, um, the, you know, Mob of the Night Sky. You got the Turtles. You also have some really cool new blocks that you'll be able to really utilize now, wood specifically by stripping it. You can strip logs and I'll have a lot of the details in the description and a link to the article as well. A lot of this stuff you already know, but specifically I want to focus on the Trident section. Um, I know a lot of console players and even a lot of PC players and mobile players have not experienced any of these features yet, so a lot of this might be new to you. So I'm going to go ahead and just read about this trident, and then it will sort of lead into the next section where Jeb talks about a mysterious mob. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this. He says, actually, why would you have an axe equipped when you could be wielding the new trident? It's a weapon that is intended to be used underwater, said Jens. You can both swing with it and throw it. True, but if you don't want to throw it away permanently, then you should invest in loyalty. This common enchantment makes your trident come back to you. Riptide, which makes you lunge with your trident when you throw it, as long as you're in water or it's raining, which is really cool, is also well worth seeking out. Handy, but the most shocking trident enchantment is definitely channeling. If it's thundering weather, explained Jens, you hit something with the trident, lightning will strike it. That is so cool. It's the first time the player actually has a way of creating lightning, which has a bunch of different effects in the game. That is just shockingly cool. <laughs> oh, that was cheesy. That's a lot of power to give to the player. Did Jens ever worry it was too much? After all, as Uncle Ben once said, with great power comes group quit electrocuting me with that lightning trident you jerk <laughs> when i added channeling i was aware it was quite powerful jens agrees but then i realized it's extremely conditional you do not have thunder that often when you're playing but mostly importantly it's really fun thank you so much jens is the goat it's all about having fun if you manage to find the trident if you manage to get channeling on it it's a rare enchantment and it's thundering, then you should be rewarded. I agree wholeheartedly with that statement. I asked the Java team what they thought of the new home. They threw all their tridents at it and left. Yeah, that's fair. You'll definitely need the trident for the full aquatic update. As Jens teases, we're adding a new hostile mob underwater. There you guys go right there. We're adding a new hostile mob underwater. For now though, one of your biggest concerns is getting dragged down to the ocean depths by the new bubble column. So, 
Yes, this is huge, guys. He basically tells us that there's another mob coming, and you're gonna want the trident for this. He doesn't really say it like that, but he's hinting that you're gonna want this trident for this brand new mob that we have no idea what this thing is, and uh, I know people are gonna start speculating and start coming up with some really cool, crazy theories as to what this mob might be. I have a hunch that we've never even seen this mob before. I don't think it's any of the mobs from Minecon. I think it's a brand new mob, and I might make another video talking about my speculation as to what this could be, but I'm more curious right now what you guys think this mob might be, as well as what its abilities might be. I think it's a really fun time for the aquatic update. They're continuing to add new features, new mobs. It's just a great time period. We don't have the official update out right now but clearly this is going to be a really fun update i'm really hyped for this guys every single day i get more anxious and more hyped for this update as they continue to add brand new features but like i said leave your thoughts down below hopefully you enjoyed the video crush the like button and i'll see you guys later peace get ready for the next battle